Hi. Today, I thought we would take a look at the Korg Lambda. This is a beautiful string synthesizer released by Korg in 1979, featuring divide down technology and full polyphony across the entire keyboard. And it has a number of great features that really set it apart from other stringers. And I thought we would take a bit of time to go through some of these sections and I'll show you a little bit each one in depth. So to start with, there's two main sound generating areas. There's the percussive section here, which has presets for electric piano, uh, clav, uh, piano itself, and then harmonics, as well as the ensemble section, which has a brass, organ, choir or chorus sound, and strings one and strings two. These are the main areas for generating your sounds, and you can mix and match the different uh, knobs or slider switches here. Uh, depending on which sound you want to enable or disable. To the far left is chorus phase, which has both an ensemble and a percussive chorus phase effect for each section independently. There's the tune section, which has master tune for the entire synth, as well as independent detune between each section, which gets some nice beating effects. There's an accent area, which has a filter for the brass, as well as the amount of electric piano key click for the percussive section. There's tone to the right, which has two independent filters, one for the ensemble area and one for the percussive uh, area as well. Independent volume control for percussion as well as ensemble. There's uh, a master switch here for octave up or octave down. And uh, to the bottom left here, we have the pitch bend stick. Of course, you can bend down or bend up. But in addition, you can control the level or rate of the chorus phasing that uh, takes place here. And then for each percussive and ensemble section, you have control, uh, at least in the percussive section, you have tremolo, which you can adjust from slow to fast, and as well decay from fast to slow. Similarly, in the ensemble area, you can enable or disable vibrato, and you have attack and release that are variable adjustments here for speed, fast or slow, and attack, fast or slow. So. In a nutshell, that is essentially the synth. And let's take a listen now to some of the presets here. So starting with the percussive section, electric piano. It's a nice sound there. Now I can increase the amount of electric piano click with this knob here. So that's a nice adjustment you can get. Let's check out the clav. Piano. Sounds quite nice. And then harmonics. It's chime bell like sounds. Lovely. Now, there's also this um, tremolo effect here, which we can enable. So Let's turn on the electric piano. You can hear that tremolo happening very slowly. I can 
can adjust the rate here. Now, what's really cool is you can mix and match the different sliders accordingly, right? So you can, for instance, enable electric piano with a piano or a clavinet and harmonics to stack them. That's the percussive section. Now let's take a listen to the ensemble section, starting with the brass. independent control here for a filter for the brass. You can hear that's repeating the envelope. So in this case, the brass sounds like it's paraphonic. So that's the brass. Let's check out the organ. Okay, so there we have the organ, and let's enable the choir or chorus effect now, or sound, I should say. Let's get those nice sort of choir voices. We have strings. Strings one. Strings two. Now, there's an adjustable uh, control here for attack and release. So if I enable that, now I have full control for the strings, for instance. Let's bring in some fading in here. And the great thing with the Lambda so you can select what you want to enable, so I can also bring in things like chorus, start stacking the sounds. Remember, 
There's individual filters for each section. So let's adjust the filter for the ensemble. Organ. And let's layer in some percussion. And this is where the magic happens. Okay, beautiful strings, beautiful percussive section there. Uh, as I mentioned, you actually have independent control as well for the detuning between each section. So for instance, if we just try that, uh, let's say with the A or B here, so if we say with B layer, we can get some sort of extreme levels there. I can adjust. And here's sort of that phasing. Get some nice thick chorusy phasing effects depending on the sound that you're after. Uh, with the pitch bender, it's an example of the chorus phase control. From basically nothing. Too full. You can hear it changing quite rapidly there. Of course, you also have bending. Now if I disable the uh, chorus phase effects for Ensemble, you'll hear that the stereo is now going to one channel, and the same if I disable the percussive effect. So the Ensemble goes to the left ear, left channel, and percussive sounds go to the right ear, right channel. Personally, I prefer the effects on for centered stereo. So that is the Korg Lambda in a nutshell. 
It's a pretty basic stringer, but it also has some nice features. And it sounds great. The ability to mix the presets in that you like. It's um, very handy to do that on the fly. And keep in mind here that there's two independent filters as well. Plus the independent detune. Very lush. And uh, it's a very good synth to use for background pads, obviously strings, uh, some choir sounds if necessary. It's a um, very full sound. So yeah, this is quite a nice string sound uh, from this synth. It, there's not too many of the Korg Lambdas out there from what I've read. I mean, they are somewhat rare. Uh, it's not a fully featured synth. You know, it's not gonna have tons of modulation as you can see. It's quite basic on the front panel with some of the functions. I mean, it does have some nice filtered control for each section and independent detune, some basic effects. Uh, but you know, I like it. It's it does what it does very well. It doesn't pretend to be something that it's not. And those strings just sound super lush. Very thick. So, if you're looking for a string synth, something a little different, that combines both the percussive aspect as well as uh, pure strings, you might be interested in the chord lambda. They are out there on the second hand market. Uh, I definitely think it's worth keeping an eye out for. So, thank you very much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed. So, if you haven't already, please do uh, leave a like, a comment, or uh, subscribe if you haven't. And we'll talk to you very soon.